Right, welcome back guys to another video. Um, we are back, of course, with um, Johnny Depp fires back at Amber Heard in court filling or some other shit. Um, this video is, is going... I'm going to explain this. Um, Johnny Depp fires back at Amber, uh, at Amber Heard. Um... I don't know for what reason the court case was finished a long time ago but they did come back to um, to the court so no further talk and wait 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 Johnny Depp fires back at Amber Hood in um, court filling Hood's um, insurance company sues her oh this is gonna oh okay but Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that, question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard? Answer, yes. The sta question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Yes. Amber Heard files new documents with the court alleging juror misconduct in her effort to get a new trial. But Johnny Depp's like Bro, I don't like this bitch, bro. You guys, I don't like this bitch. Because all she does in life is sue is sue people. But we're not talking about Johnny Depp now. But like other people, like her company. Let's but why? Bro, my question is why, bro? She's she's fucking mad this woman, bro. You're saying not so fast and claim she's just trying to get out of paying. This comes as one of her insurance companies sues her, saying they shouldn't have to pay for her legal fees or the judgment against Johnny Depp. What? I'm Anjanette Levy and welcome to Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast. Let's start with the issue surrounding Juror 15. It's been a big controversy. Hertz lawyers have already filed a motion with the court alleging issues with Juror 15 and the fact that he was born in 1970 when the person summoned for court was actually born in 1945. While Heard's lawyers noted that that wasn't what? reason for a mistrial, now they're claiming otherwise. Wait, what? Plaintiff's attorney Catherine Lazardo is here to explain. Catherine, thanks for coming on Sidebar again. We appreciate it. Thanks, Anjanette. Always a pleasure. And what appears to have happened here, Catherine, is the fact that Juror 15, who was born in 1970, has the same name and same address as the person who was actually summoned to court and who was born in 1945. So it appears to possibly be a father-son relationship. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what Heard's attorneys are arguing with this. What Heard's attorneys are arguing is that her due process was violated because the wrong juror came and was impaneled. But there's a big issue about this, which is that there's, they don't have supporting law uh, to support their argument that her due process was violated. And also, they st cited a statute of Virginia law, which was actually wrong in terms of it's not supporting their argument. Uh, they're trying to claim that it's not their responsibility to check the jury and whoever the jurors identifications are or anything about the jurors but the thing is the statute actually says that the parties are responsible oh, hold on bro. I'm coming back.
checking that. Not the court or the juror, contrary to what Amber Heard's legal team is trying to say. So I think they will lose in that regard. Well, Johnny Depp's team filed a, a number of responses to all of this on Monday. And let's look at what the team had to say. Ben Shu is the lead attorney. And he calls Heard's objection to juror 15 untimely. He says Heard's supplemental memorandum was filed one week after the July 1st deadline. That was last Friday was July 8th. And he wrote, true to form, Heard did not notify Depp's team of the supplemental memorandum, nor did her team ask the court for leave to file a week late. Chu also wrote that Heard's team was aware of the age discrepancy with Juror 15 because the court supplied both sides with the juror's information before the trial even started so they would have it for voir dire, and the juror was vetted by both sides uh, during that process. So Chu is saying this person was perfectly suitable to serve on the jury, even if it was the wrong person who showed up. So uh, Chu goes on to say that Heard's lawyers chose not to investigate this when they had the information. So they're saying uh, that Heard's team already knew. So what do you think of Ben Chu's response? Ben Chu's response is spot on. He says that there's no, you know, that it was untimely. Timeliness is always a big deal when you're filing motion because that means that if you, if Amber Heard, well, not if, but Amber Heard filed a late supplemental, that doesn't give Ben Chu and Johnny Depp's legal team enough time to file an opposition, but they still were able to file it on time. Also, he's arguing that they, Amber Heard actually waived that argument when she did not raise it during the Badir and during any time at the trial before the verdict. So that's a big issue because she's not claiming any prejudice. Uh, well, she is alleging prejudice, but she's not stating specifically what pre how it prejudiced her. And Ben Juice motion. Bro. In what movie does fucking Amber Heard play, bro? She plays in what? Aquaman. That's the movie I don't like, bro. You mentioned that. Johnny uh, Depp movies? He stated that Brilliant. everyone, including Amber Heard's legal team and Johnny Depp's legal team, had those uh, jury information beforehand. And actually, Ben Chu pointed out they had it five days before the jury, uh, the jury were dear. And the statute only requires that they have it three days before. And so they've had it way longer than they're supposed to, which leads me to the supplemental of Amber Heard because there was a footnote there that I took great issue on because it actually attacks Judge Ascarati. That footnote say, said that it's not Amber Heard's team's job to look and verify the jury information rather it's the court's job and w what does that mean the court's job the statute says that the person who is taking the attendance of the juror are supposed to either take their id and verify their information or bro what the fuck is this gonna do with the uh with the jury the jury has nothing to do with this By the way, this is between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and what the fuck this uh, everything this is. But the the jury is just like dick suckers. They don't know what they're talking about, bro. Wait, hold on. <coughs> Sorry. They don't know what they're talking about, bro. So the jury must just stay out of this room, because the jury ID, is like just like like dog shit, bro. Dog shit. They are. So they're claiming that that person made a big mistake. But here's the thing: who is in charge of the court procedures and making sure everyone is following it appropriately? The chief judge. And who's the chief judge of this court? Judge Ascarati, the Judge Ascarati. Who the fuck is Judge Ascarati? I'm saying Judge Ascarati is not, uh, you know, uh, not properly uh, administering uh, whatever is supposed to be the rules in her courtroom. So that that won't bode well for them. And I will tell you, at that June 24th hearing where Judge As Ascarati, it was a formality, this hearing, she was signing the judgment, it was going to be final, she was having none 
of what Elaine Bredehoff was arguing. I mean, Elaine Bredehoff kept bringing things up, and Judge Askarati cut her off almost at the end of each sentence and said, we're not doing this, I'm not having a hearing, I don't need a hearing when Elaine Bredehoff asked for one, so she's done. Because she's, she's not hearing. This and she's kind of like, you want to appeal? Go appeal. Uh, she doesn't Catherine, care. You know, Amber Heard in that post-trial motion that she actually filed on July 1st also asked Judge Askarati to set aside the verdict, saying it didn't comport with the law and the evidence, and it just wasn't supported by either one. The jury awarded Depp, as you'll recall, $15 million in damages, but the $5 million in punitive damages was what? actually capped Jesus. at 350000 because of the state statute in Virginia. So the actual judgment and the amount awarded to Depp totals $10.35 million. Ben Chu writes in response to this request from... Bro, while Miss Hurt slings an exceptional amount of mud at the wall in the hope that something might stick, the jury's verdict on damages was perfectly res uh, uh, reasonable and supported by the, fuck? Oh, the evidence and uh, testimony in this case. I don't know what the fuck that means. Amber Heard, while Miss Heard slings an exceptional amount of mud at the wall in the hope that something might stick, the jury's verdict on damages was perfectly reasonable and supported by the evidence and testimony in the case. Chu then goes on to cite a lot of the testimony from Depp's witnesses, some from Jack Wiggum, who is his agent. It was Johnny Depp's agent who testified that Depp didn't appear in any studio films after the Washington Post op-ed in 2018. That's true. And Mike Spindler had said that Depp had lost about $40 million in earnings. So your response to what Ben Chu had to say on that. What? I agree with Ben Chu. Uh, we were talking early Jeez. on as to what are these arguments that Amber Heard's legal team are putting out there. And I mentioned that it seems as they're just throwing everything on the wall and see which one stick. And Ben Chu said it more eloquently that they're trying to uh, put there on the wall the murkiest, you know, mud that they could do and see which one actually sticks because this one won't stick. I mean, we all saw the trial. We heard the, t the expert testimonies of several people stating what uh, the damages and how to calculate the damages for Johnny Depp. I was actually surprised that they only awarded $10 million for him. I thought that's very low. Similarly, I was surprised that they awarded Amber Heard $2 million uh, for her compensatory damages because I didn't hear uh, any supporting evidence for that $2 million. So if there's someone who has a question as to the appropriateness of the damages award, I think it would be Johnny Depp saying that there's not enough evidence for the $2 million awarded to Amber Heard. But we see that they're not even raising that here. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet, Johnny sued me. She's made a million dollars in, pled in payments to them, but then she got sued here and hasn't been able to because she spent $6 million in attorney's fees. That is unrefuted. She still intends to pay those pledges, honor those pledges, and she said that throughout. Let's switch gears now. Uh, over the weekend as well, uh, her insurance Let's company, go. her former insurance company, New York Marine, filed a lawsuit uh, saying that they don't, shouldn't have to cover uh, under their insurance policy that she had during the time in which she wrote the op-ed, and it's also in the same time period they covered her in which Johnny Depp filed the defamation lawsuit against her. Uh, this insurance company is suing her and saying, look, you were found liable with actual malice, so we shouldn't have to cover your legal fees. And according to another insurance company, Travelers, that also represented her at the same time, they say, at least as far as uh, spring of 2022 goes, at that time period, they had paid $5 million of her legal fees. She said at trial, it was $6 million that she had spent. But it sounds like insurance is really covering all of this. So uh, New York Marine says we shouldn't have to pay. What are your thoughts on that, Catherine? Uh, what's going to happen with this lawsuit? Come on, Catherine. Looking at their complaint, I think they have a very good... There's no bullshit. Damn it! 
good basis for away. that. And when the, the jury it. verdict actually came out and the information that travelers, her homeowner insurance was the one covering the defense, fees and costs, attorney's fees and costs, I thought they're not, they're going to want their money back and they won't be paying for judgment as well. So it won't, I anticipate it won't just be the New York Marine um, insurance who will ask for their money. Oh, travelers will ask for their money back of all the attorney's fees they pay because most insurance policies have that exclusion that if you committed something intentional or willful that's not going to be covered by insurance policy because that's against public policy to support someone who does something intentionally wrong and here defamation case because actual malice was found against amber heard that is considered intentional willful act and so most insurance companies, when they issue um, a policy and when they they actually provide you with defense, meaning the pay your attorney's fees and costs, they issue a reservation of rights. And that's what New York Marine indicated in their complaint. They agreed to pay for her attorney's fees, but with a reservation of right that what if the... you are found willful, we will rescind the benefits we offer you. And, and that's Bro, what, what the hell? And it's a little confusing, uh, but we need to be clear that Travelers uh, actually sued New York Marine as well last year. The fuck is New York Marines, Marine, bro? didn't pay its share or its half of the legal fees. Traveler, travelers had paid the whole Oh, bill. now and I see, that bro. action, that whole case was I stayed see. pending the outcome of the verdict in the defamation case. And we know what happened there. Amber Heard lost and was found liable and, you know, $10.35 million dollar judgment. She's appealing. So are you saying to me you anticipate that travelers will now go back and sue Amber Heard and say we want our money back? I think so. I anticipate that's going to happen because they if if travelers suing New York Marine is asking for a reimbursement of their fees and costs, they're basically saying, hey, it's supposed to be 50-50. But at the same time, if they can't get that from New York Marine, then their alternative legal action would be to file a lawsuit against uh, Amber Heard or to basically just say, hey, you know what, you have to reimburse us because we're not going to pay uh, your attorney's fees and costs because that's an exclusion to our insurance policy. You That's bullshit, point, bro. Though, which is that New York Marine, That's bullshit. They initially said in their complaint that they agreed to pay the attorney's fees and costs for Amber Heard, but then they ended up not doing it because, interestingly, the complaint said that Amber Heard and her agent might uh, act, might have told her other defense firms not to cooperate with the law firm that New York Marine actually selected for her. New York Marine. Right. And they're saying, right, they're saying that, look, we approved of this council and then they withdrew because you guys didn't want them. Uh, so that's another reason we shouldn't have to pay. So it's interesting and we will be keeping an eye on it. Exactly. I used to, I used to do insurance defense and, and this is usually boring, but oh, now God. it's becoming very Now she's talking about herself, bro. Everyone's learning about insurance uh, law now. <laughs> yeah, oh no, my God. Bye, My bitch. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. And that's it for this edition of Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. You can find us on Apple, Google, Spotify, and YouTube, and wherever else you get your podcasts. I really did that. Jesus. So, Miss Heard, I'm. We're not gonna watch it, bro. I think that Johnny Depp and uh, Amber Heard should just drop this whole thing, bro. Because the case, the, the court case was 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 going so well. I watched all of this, all of that. Uh, it was going so well until now. Now, Johnny Depp gets involved again into a court case. But 
about why this is about uh, Amber Heard and a fucking but company or something insurance policy uh, I don't know uh, I'll see you in the next one cheers get the fuck